My name is Angela Rogers. I'm an outsider artist that works in fiber arts. I call my work poppets. Being an artist means everything to me. I've tried to think of everything I do in life as, as, as art and being an artist. Coming out here saves my soul. I make work at home, but as you'll see when you see my space, it's like a nest. And so having a place to come, uh, and I mean, I'd be making art if I was living on the street. You know, it's just, it's everything to me. It's just who I am. Fountain House is an amazing community. It's a clubhouse for people with mental illness. And the studio is an offshoot part of the bigger piece of the pie of Fountain House. They support you, they're there for you, and I have a care coordinator at Fountain House that helps me with the daily mundane, which I am not good at at all. I would be making art every minute, and so Fountain House is a major support system, and the studio is, is, is the biggest support system for me. It helps me get out of bed. I started painting during a rough time at another uh, studio but after I, I had brain surgery, and after brain surgery, my main work, which is the fiber art sculptures, the poppets, I feel like the brain surgery opened me up to something on a higher level cosmically. And so I started wrapping sticks with fibers and yarn and charms, and then they morphed into their own beings and creatures. So they speak to me when I make them. It's, it's sort of stream of consciousness. It all starts with color. It normally will start out with wire and shape, but then it goes straight to color. And then that palette will sort of guide me and you know where we're gonna go with it. A lot of times it will reject, and, and so I'll have to go over a piece that I've already think is a formed figure and rejects like, no, I, I wanna be blue. So that's really how it starts. Sometimes the vision will come to me first of uh, the creature, but it never works out that way. They always inform me. Color is very important to me. After brain surgery, I realized I have something called synesthesia, and that's where you see sound and hear color. And my work is very colorful, and often I don't go for neutrals, beiges, browns, I stay away from them, and so, Anything that is lively, sparkly, um, bright, like I'm, that's, that's what informs my work, especially from the beginning, is, is the use of color. My paintings too, like I've never been one to use neutral colors. Everything's about color for me. It started out with just wrapping sticks and found objects. It was almost like a form of meditation to calm me down working with wire and things that were malleable, they just started morphing into beings and creatures. And that's when they spoke to me more, telling me their personalities, their names, what, what they wanted to wear. Whereas just recently, I've gone back to the sticks. So it's kind of come around full circle. Um, I mean, I'm going to be doing both, but the simplicity of, of wrapping just sticks with fabric and yarn and putting amulets on them. So it, it started out as a meditation and it ended up being this bigger, um, like I said, tapped into something bigger, hearing the voice of the creature.